I have been rearranging my studio all day and rearranging the characters that I use in AFK Journey. Uh, I want to show you my favorite game mode. I want to show you my favorite characters and hopefully we're going to hit a whole new level in this game during this video. So let's check it out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Of course, we are going to be playing Arcane Labyrinth. I love Arcane Labyrinth. This is like my favorite game mode out of any mobile game. I've ever played. I love this game mode. I think it's great. And uh, honestly, guys, they're not even like, they're not even telling me to say that. I honestly mean that. I am having a blast with this game mode. And I have figured out how to get the grave, the graveborn to work. Finally, finally, I figured it out. Now, I'm on a very high level of Arcane Labyrinth right now, and it is suggesting that I use mythic or above characters and that team is good that I've been using I've been using like Valen here and um, and Lucius and some other characters uh, characters like Rowan um, I've been using some of these special characters like Burial and I, I did grab uh, Rainier the the brand new character that they just put out in the new patch and they're pretty good however the Graveborn team, let me assemble it for you. Let me show you the best Graveborn characters. First, we're going to want a good tank. And the best Graveborn tank is Thorin. And he's fantastic. So we're going to move him in. Now, you can see I have upgraded Sylvania to Mythic. So I'm going to put her in as well. Um, she actually gets good. She finally gets good. It finally happened. And we're going to need a healer. Um, so that's going to be Nero. We're going to move in Nero. He's going to be our support. Now, you cannot get a much better marksman than Cecia, so we're definitely moving Cecia in. I love Igor. He's a fantastic warrior. And what's good here is we're, we have a different class. Uh, we're using all the different classes. You know, Sylvania is a rogue. We got a tank. We got support. Uh, we got all the different classes represented, which is fantastic. And that's five characters. That's the best team. Now, to back them up in case anybody dies or we have any problems, I'm going to go ahead and throw in Burial, and I'm going to throw in uh, Rainier. I think they're very good plug-and-plays. Um, they are extremely strong characters, being these, like, Celestial Hypogean uh, characters. Uh, they don't really have a full five members to them, but they're insanely powerful on their own. So I'm going to throw them in. Now, we are below... Uh, where we should be with Ascension, but the synergy is so good with the Graveborn characters. I want to see if we can get a good run out of this because I've started using that team, uh, and this is on level 7 of the Arcane Labyrinth, but I've started using that team as my main team in the whole game. Everything I'm doing, and I've gone up like 100, 200 levels in AFK. Like, it's just been insane. It's it's literally been nuts. All right, I'm good with attack speed for the first buff. Um, attack speed's a great buff to have. I think it's going to play really well into this team and what it does well. I'm going to reform this team. So my main team, uh, we are going to get my tank out in front. We are going to get Igor out in front as well. My warrior, my rogue. We can move the rogue behind the tank. Uh, just to make sure they don't take like an early hit. Uh, we are going to put Cecia in the back for damage. And then my healer kind of here uh, in the middle. I like I like that. So this is basically the team that I'm running in the whole game right now. That's the one. And it's outperforming everything else. Any other combination I've tried. This team is the most epic team that I have. Uh, even though it's lower rarity than some of my other teams. Or lower ascension level. It's phenomenal so all right let's see i've yet to do this is my first arcane labyrinth run with it though i have no idea how that's gonna go i'm excited about it let's see how this first round goes i'm hopeful that they're just gonna cleave right through this yeah they're doing great thorin took a big hit um but he's getting healed oh no they're falling apart they fell apart no good no good I guess you really, if their rarity level was up, if their ascension level was up, I think we'd have this. All right, I'm going to grab more attack speed. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to need to get a revive, though. I don't love that. Uh, was, I wasn't expecting this to fall apart so quickly. I'm going to move in uh, Rainier, our new character. 
Is that how to say his name? Yeah, Rainier. Uh, I'm going to move him in, and let's see what happens here. But losing Cecia is, is really bad. She's a phenomenal character, so I don't know how far I'm going to get without her. I don't know how that's going to go. The healing from Nero is really, really good. So he's keeping up with everybody. He's keeping everybody healthy. The thing is, this team's a little better at burst damage than sustain. So it might not, it just might not be a very good Arcane Labyrinth team. That might just be the truth behind this team is that it might not be very good at that. But let's keep going. Let's see what happens. All right. Increases all allied heroes crit by 15. Increase critical damage. When an ally hero deals damage, sacrifice 5% of current hit points to deal additional true damage. That sounds really fun. I can't afford to do that, though. I'm taking too much damage. Um, increases critical damage for 30 points when allied heroes deal critical strike with a normal attack. I think that's what I want. I think I want critical advancement. It's not going to help me yet, but I'll be looking to add some more critical build into it. Let's raise up my attack power. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worried about the sustain of this team, and I really don't, I don't like losing Cecia. She's like a huge part of why this team is good, and Thorin just like, is almost dead constantly, but he must have something stopping him from fully dying, because I've watched his health drop down to zero, like, multiple times, and it just comes back every time. So, I don't know what he's got going on. He's a great character, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he has some kind of, like, death-proof ability kicking in. I haven't read all the character kits deeply. I probably need to do that. All right. I definitely want Blessing Gate, Relic Rewards. That's a really, really strong advantage to have. So I'm going to grab that one. And let's keep going. I'm just waiting for a revive so I can get Cecia back. But you know what? Rainier is uh, adding a great support to this team, though. I don't need any more damage. This team's putting out a ton of damage. So that's why I took Rainier over Burial. Burial is more of a damage dealer. If I would have lost one of my Warriors or, or the Rogue, I would have put uh, Burial in instead. But since I lost, like, my long-range support, well, I got to put, put in Rainier. All right, here comes the boss. Let's see if we can beat it. Now, once again, keep in mind... This team is punching up in Ascension. We are supposed to all be mythic right now. And if this team was all mythic, well, we would be cruising right through this. They would be unstoppable if they were all uh, of mythic Ascension. So that's something to keep in mind as well when you think about how good this team is and how crazy it is. I'll kind of show you where I'm at in the game too with it, like what levels I've obtained using this team. Like, don't take this as an indication that this team isn't good. Like, this team's phenomenal. This is the Graveborn team. It's the best Grave I've done with Grave. It's the best I've done with any team. All right, so I need to get... I, it just might not be a good Arcane Labyrinth team. All right, I got to quit out of this. But let me show you how I'm doing in the rest of the game. Because I want to show you how great this team is. Uh, so I only reached floor five. I did get some points, though. Um, I'm definitely going to have to come back in here and, and just use, like, my normal team, um, which has more sustain to it, more healing. Like, let me show you what I'm going to use. So when I do my next run of this, uh, let me trash that. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Valen. I'm going to use Lucius. And already I'm using two Mythic characters, so I'm already doing better there as far as uh, the damage dealing. I'm going to throw Rowan in there for extra energy. Rowan is fantastic for that. Gives a lot of extra energy. Um, I am going to throw in my uh, healer. So I usually run a healer, Haywin. Um, that is a really important part of the team. And then I might throw in Cecia for long range damage. But you know what? I've got Odie back here. I think I am going to throw in Odie for the long range. Plus, I've just recently upgraded them to Mythic. And I've unlocked their, um, their, their EX weapon. So they're really, really good. Um, I will throw in... Oh, here's the other two that I usually add. I'm adding Burial. I'm going to add in Burial. And I'm going to add in Rainier. Uh, they need to go in the team as well. And I think that's it. I think that's the setup. I think that's going to be better than the Graveborn setup. Yeah, I don't see anybody else that I've been using. Oh, I do like 
um, Eron to pull everybody in, but I don't think I need that. I think I'm, I'm going to use these characters. So that's what I've been re re running um, Arcane Labyrinth with. That's why I've been able to get up to rank 7 is using that team. So if you're struggling in Arcane Labyrinth, I would definitely suggest more of a sustain build using this, this set of characters as opposed to the Graveborn. But in the entire rest of the game, it's Graveborn all the way. You can see here, I was able to beat the, uh, the uh, what do you call this? Uh, the Dream Realm boss. I got them up to hell difficulty. It's like one of the highest difficulty levels you can get up to using that, that Graveborn team. In the arena, I am currently legendary one rank using that Graveborn team. Um, I haven't been able to, you know, Honor Duel, it's definitely something. I, I actually had a video I released yesterday where I did use a Graveborn team. Different composition, though. Um, so you can check it out there. I, I did have a pretty good run with that. Um, when it comes to battle drills, I'm going to start using that team. I'm not able to use it this time around. Let's check out the main game. Let me show you what I'm doing with AFK levels. So the AFK level shot through the roof when I started using this team. AFK level... I'm around 863. Um, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, jumped up. I was down in the 600s, and now I'm up in, I'm almost up into the 900s. Um, it's a phenomenal team. Really great set of characters. I will definitely be looking to increase the rarity on these five characters up to Mythic. I'm going to be ascending them up to Mythic as soon as I possibly can. Um, gonna be doing a lot more videos on this game probably either next weekend or the weekend after that if you need more of these videos right away make sure you check this playlist I've got a ton of videos in here if you haven't already pre-registered for this game use the links below and pre-register so that when this goes global if you're not playing this already you can also get a hold of the APK if you look online, you can find the APK. You can start playing this right now, uh, just like I am. It's in limited release in a few countries, but you can get access to it. You can start playing it now, and that progress will carry over when the game goes into global launch. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Sign up so you get notified when it goes into global launch. Check out the other videos in this playlist, and keep digging. Stop what you're doing, baby, and follow Mr. Hargrave from parts unknown, if you will, baby. I've seen the demon's face. Mark, you're in one half of private party, say what up to the grave diggers and keep doing your thing. On my knees, in praise of the horrible things that took her away. Watch another video or be cursed.